There are a lot of unknowns in art, and even though you'd think that the deepest unknown is what someone else is capable of, I believe that the greatest mystery is within. Yes, your contemporaries will always surprise you with any work that steps beyond their current skill level, subject matter, or mediums from your perspective. However, you do expect to see those differences emerge over time. But imagine how much harder it is to surprise yourself, or even scare yourself, with the artwork that emanates from within. What sword and shield must the artist equip himself with to venture into the cavern within and emerge with secret knowledge to create art which would have been unthinkable before? In this video, you'll see that I'm working on painting a mermaid miniature, which I have sculpted in clay, then 3D scanned, digitally modeled, and 3D printed. This piece will not stand alone because it will be part of a gigantic 47 sculpture diorama of a Christmas village. It includes hand-sculpted buildings, and I intend for it to be part of a massively populated town. I wanted to make something unthinkable that is one part world building, one part holiday home decor, and above all, a testament to the characters I want to see brought to life through my art. I won't stop until this project is four times bigger in scope than the 12 character X-Men sculpture you can see pinned on my YouTube channel. I'll let you know what I do to find my way towards the unthinkable in art making. Across the career of an artist, there are the things that are easy. That's to say the things which we often do by rote. These are our sketches, our jam sessions, and for me, that's my single character sculptures. The easy work is probably part of a whole and fulfilling life. It's why we love the craft and keep coming back to it. Even though we need to hold on to those easy tasks to give us comfort, we need to move further away from that campfire and into the cave of discovery. Next, there are the hard tasks, those which we have a pretty good idea how we do them and how to complete them, that we're capable of them, but they do require us to summon our talent on demand and push to work faster and yet also more deliberately. Like Nietzsche defines a fanatic, we begin to double our efforts while losing sight of our goals. Now the feeling and fulfillment are behind us and we're challenged by things we only ever stretch to realize. The problem is that you still know you can stretch that thin without failing to reach some or all of your aims. The goal of achieving harder works of art is still imaginably achievable. For an artist to reach beyond their own imagination, he has to be prepared to stumble around in the dark to emerge with some unthinkable prize. Let's do this thought experiment together. So brace yourself, empty yourself of all art aims you think you could pull off, and let's see what we can find in the void together. It's quieter here, but it's not alien. The only demons and monsters in here are the ones you create. All your hopes and dreams are in here too, even though you can't see them, but you can feel them. Now, which one calls out to you. Is it an adventure? A horror? Maybe a hero? The answer is different for all of us and only you can feel what inspires you. Now that you can feel that scene, that character or that object, hold it in your mind's eye like a seed and plant it in the ground, start to let it grow. What's around your mermaid? For me, she's in a fountain in a town square, and it's Christmas time. She's offering a present to be placed under the tree at the lighting ceremony. That's still small, so allow yourself to fill up the dark, unthinkable place with a bigger vision. Let's dip into the almost manic here, because after all, this is just a fantasy of a vision. Let's double it and fill the square with characters and carolers, and double the vision again to fill the dark place. What do you see now when you look around the dark at the surroundings? What scenery or buildings and colors swirl around the ether? Can you fill those Tudor-style buildings with other characters? Double the vision again. Does the surrounding woodland have critters living in them? Double it again. Allow the whirling maelstrom of your imagination to twist and stretch this vision larger and larger until you can barely contain it and the dark place no longer even exists. Now that your vision is unthinkably achievable, hold on to it, hold on to it, 
And while enjoying the fact that it exists and is really real in your mind, do whatever you need to do to remember every detail. Remember everything from the voices of the characters to the character of the streets. You may be realizing that you didn't exactly emerge from the dark place with an unthinkable artistic vision, because instead you filled the unfathomable void with the unfettered imagination that's required to take away your breath. You were temporarily unconstrained by how large your canvas is in your mind or your knowledge of color theory, or how many characters you usually sculpt in a month. What you found instead is the stuff dreams are made of, your artistic dream. Other people may criticize, deride, or judge your vision, but they cannot take it away from you. The only ones that would do that are those trapped by the low expectations of small-mindedness. Forget them and forge ahead because what you just sculpted in your head is the work of the kind of scope that inspires artists if they are ever pulled off and brought to life. Scenes like the one in Harry Potter, Star Wars, and The Nightmare Before Christmas all share the grandest of artistic intents and are unthinkably achievable. The answer to what's needed for making truly unthinkable art is a vision like the one you have now the one that dwarfs your artistic talents and overwhelms you when you start to consider embarking on the journey to create it. Don't bother trying to explain it to anyone because an aim so vivid in particular can't be expressed adequately. Oh, I've tried and failed. The only way to beam that vision into the minds of the people you want to see it is to create the unthinkable art. I found inspiration for projects through this unthinkable technique only three times. I'm sure by looking at my work, you could guess which pieces came from this kind of visualization. When it comes to the execution of an overwhelming project like that, there are always more than a few aspects I fail at, but there are always even more parts that I do pull off. As a sculptor, pieces like that include multiple angles, scenery, colors, forms, characters, themes, gesture, and body language, just to name a few. As one single artist, it's unthinkable to create that vision the thing of many things. But to make that thing, we must. To take even 90% or 95% of that vision from your mind and express it outwardly in the clay or on the page is to breathe life into a complete artwork. It's an art practice worth laboring over and the kind I'll never give up on. So until next time, I hope you start finding what's needed to make the unthinkable art.